here we're going to determine the number of possible positive and negative real zeros of this polynomial. So step one, let's go ahead and get our table up so that we can organize our zeros. Next, we want to look at the degree of the polynomial. This is a third degree polynomial, so I'm going to have a three uh, for my total column. So I'm going to go ahead and place those there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and identify our positive zeros by uh, checking to see how many times did the sign change from one term to the next. So let's check uh, from first to second. Did it change? Yes. Did it change? Yes. Okay. And there were no other changes, so there were just two sign changes. So we're going to have a 2 here for our positive zeros. And now let's determine the number of negative zeros. All we have to do is identify our odd uh, degree terms. We have two of them. We're going to change them to their opposite. And now we're going to see how many times the sign change. And as you can see, uh, there was only one sign change at the very end. Uh, so we're going to have a one there for our negative zeros. So Adding these two columns, you only add the first two columns. Does that add up to three? Yes, it does. So that means we have no imaginary zero. So we put a zero there. All right, next scenario. Uh, can I subtract two without going into the negatives? Yes, two take away two is zero. Can I subtract two from the negative column without going into the negatives? No, we can't. So that same number will be there. Now we add these two columns. Do they add up to three? No. So what do we need here so that it adds up to three? Yes, a two. All right, we are done. So we can conclude that for positive zeros is two or zero, one negative zero, two or zero, non-real complex zeros.